Hello and welcome. I said in my last um, video that I would do another one uh, talking about the application or uh, of psychometrics, how one would use psychometrics. And when I was thinking about this, I was trying to say, how would I best communicate this? And I came up with three questions I'd like to answer. The first question is, why use psychometrics? The second question is, how would you use psychometrics? And the third question is, where or when would you use psychometrics? So let's start. Why use psychometrics? And I want to start by saying that uh, I think it's important to be clear that uh, psychometrics is not a silver bullet. Uh, in decisions that you make around a uh, talent, there are many, many uh, things that influence those decisions. But psychometrics can be one of them and a useful part of the decision-making process. And before I give you my little bottom line on um, why to use them, I'll tell you a simple story. Have you ever seen the recruiter looking across the table at a candidate and they're there with their hands together like this? You know what they're doing, of course. They're praying. They're saying, oh Lord, let this one be right. Because in truth, they're looking at a candidate and they don't really have sufficient information. They have a CV, they have things the person is telling them, uh, and so on. But they're looking for more data, more information to make a better decision. And this is true right across talent, in coaching, in development, in succession planning, in all the things that we do with people, matching people to roles and so on. What we're looking for is more data, better information so we can make better decisions. So. Why use psychometrics? Well, it's simple, to get more data, better information so you can make better decisions. My second question, how to use psychometrics? Again, I want to tell you um, a story. Um, have you ever gone on a diet to lose weight? And you go on the diet or you start doing a, a intermittent fasting or you start working out, you start training, you start walking, you start running, you're doing whatever. A plethora of activities to try and improve um, your overall well-being and slim down. And you stand on the weighing scales. And for the first few days, you notice a significant, oh, this is great, the weight is dropping a bit. And then the weight stops. The scales sort of plateau and they may even rise, start to rise. And you lose heart, you become uh, disillusioned and you give up. And of course, you're measuring the wrong thing. The weighing scales is not the appropriate measure. Perhaps a measuring tape around your waist might be inappropriate, or a body mass index, or whatever. Other measurement tools might have been more useful because as you start to train and you put on muscle and you work out, your weight goes up. What you're actually looking for, when you say you want to lose weight, what you're really saying is you want to change the composition of your body to have more muscle, less fat, and more on your arms and your chest and less on your waist and your bottom, and so on. It's not actually weight you want to lose, um, and that's what you're measuring. So the, uh, in terms of how to use psychometry, I think it's really, really important that you think about what you're measuring. Um, and um, use the appropriate tool, uh, the appropriate tool for the appropriate metric that you're actually looking for, the thing that you're actually trying to measure. And quite often when people use psychometrics, they're using the wrong tools to measure the wrong things, and then they wonder why they don't get uh, the result they're looking at. And I'd also make the argument around this idea of the, having different tools and uh, the idea of multi-science. The idea that, I mean, I should go to a doctor, for example, and the only tool they have is a blood test. Well, you need an X-ray or you need a CAT scan or an MRI, or, but all they have is a blood test. You need appropriate tools for the appropriate metrics. So first, why to use psychometrics? Well, we use psychometrics to get more data, more information, better information, so we can make more informed decisions and judgments. How do we use them? Well, we use the appropriate tool. We have a suite of tools. We use the appropriate tool to measure the appropriate metric um, that, in fact, give us the information that we actually need. And we don't use the wrong tools. And we have sufficient tools that we can use the, the right tool at the right way and uh, at the right time. And then the last question is, 
um, where or when to use psychometrics. And really, I would argue the case to you that psychometrics are applicable right across the talent um, life cycle from cradle to grave. So I want you to imagine um, recruiting somebody. You want to ma match somebody to the job. So you want to measure the job and measure individuals and candidates, select the best matches, interview them um, and then onboard them. You want to be able to compare them to the people they're going to work with um, so they can communicate and work more effectively. You want to be able to develop and coach and put a development plan in place for them, a gap report between themselves and the job and come up with a development plan around behaviours, motivators, competencies um, and so on. Um, you want to be able to build succession planning, measure them against another job and put a development plan in place to get there. You want to be able to team um, exercise, building teams, helping the communication work more effectively, and so on and so forth. Um, you want to be able to coach people around specific issues that they may need to address and work with. So anywhere you're working with talent, anywhere you're trying to help people build superior performance, and, and superior performance um, is really about getting, building on strengths, ide identifying where you're strong, building on those strengths and then mitigating weaknesses. But to do that, you have to be able to measure them. And the last comment I make on this um, uh, where and when is the old, the old cliche, you know, we hire for um, aptitude and we fire for attitude. And really and truly, when you look at success in any uh, field, the people who are really successful tend to have strong interpersonal skills and intrapersonal skills, strong, deep self-awareness, self-understanding, awareness of others, a capacity to work effectively with other people, and so on. This is a really core skill. The psychometrics really allow you to measure these things and develop these particular aspects of an individual. So why use psychometrics? Well, use them because they give you more information, allow you to make better decisions and judgments. How to use them? Use the appropriate tool. Have enough tools, use the appropriate tools to measure the appropriate metric um, to help you actually move forward. And when and where to use them? Well, we use them to grow people and um, to get uh, batch people effectively to roles and to build superior performance. So um, I hope you found this uh, useful. Look back on the previous videos I did uh, talking about uh, behaviours, motivators, competencies, EQ and axiology to give you an insight into the core sciences. And please leave some comments. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about uh, regarding these uh, particular sciences or their applications or whatever, uh, just write them down below in the comments. I would love to hear what you have to say. And I will actually, if you if you're, it suggest things that you'd like me to do, I will actually cover them in future videos. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy that. I look forward to talking to you again soon.